What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video what I'm going to do is bring you a quick update, update review of our uh, 2020 STI. I recently did a 2500 mile update, I'm close to 4000 miles, and this is the first nice sunny day we've had where it's been warm enough to do a video because we have had a ton of snow. Uh, so I wanted to give an update on the car, kind of a general how, what it is like driving as a daily driver and just go around and just show you the car because this is honestly the first time it's been cleaned in a while it was disgusting because we got nine inches of snow then five inches of snow then four inches of snow so it had a decent amount of salt and crud on it from that so let's walk around the car show you the things i like don't like uh kind of give you an update here so for the exterior of the car it's still something i really enjoy i love this car the way it looks uh, I actually prefer the, my winter rims over the stock rims. Uh, these are 18s, which I will probably downgrade rim sizes uh, as this goes. Probably get uh, some 18 inch, a little bit uh, um, lighter rims than what the stock STI ones are. So these are the Focal F20s, very cheap. Uh, but this has been my winter end uh, Rim, rim entire setup continental viking contact 7 these are excellent in the winter this car handles like an absolute dream in the winter so uh it, it's it's almost like we had a forester previously it's like that on steroids uh basically it didn't have any issues and anything above nine inches we got about nine and a half one uh time this year and it didn't have any problems on it so the exterior really still enjoy this uh car the way it looks the led steering responsive headlights have really uh been a lifesaver i drive in a lot of back kind of country roads we have a ton of deer so it's nice to be able to see what's in front of me and get an idea of uh, how everything's going the paint uh well it only has uh, four thousand miles on it. it still looks new uh but the white does get the same thing that every white car gets on it uh it basically you get stuff all over the car uh, and you get these little kind of weird uh, let's see if I can get it. I think it's more towards the rear, uh, but you get kind of these these little they look like little rust marks But they're not they come right off when you rub on them, but they uh, definitely show a lot when it comes to that uh, But overall very very happy with the exterior uh, No sunroof, but that's okay uh, massive brake Brakes these are probably are overkill for the car, but this is a track oriented car So the six pistons in the front way uh, more stopping power than what you probably need and I've noticed that it stops a little bit better and accelerates a little bit better with these tires on there because they are I think about five pounds lighter each between the tires and rims so that's why I will probably go with some different setup for that uh, I like that these go in I know that's kind of a minor thing but uh, if you're in a tight parking spot it's nice that they do that or if you bump into them you don't have to worry about uh, them breaking or anything uh, Let's see, what else with the exterior? That's really it uh, for the actual exterior, the LAT headlights and the overall way it looks. I like the way uh, these cars look. I hope they don't deviate from this too much down the line when they get the new ones out in 20, uh, supposedly 2022, but who knows. Uh, tons of space. I recently got the windows tinted for the back because we have a car seat in here. So, wanted to make sure that it did not roast him because previously when I didn't have not have the windows tinted it was hard for him to ride in here uh, so I did get that done I would like that to be done in the from the factory if you could get an option for that uh, mainly because it was expensive it was uh, about 300 and some dollars I got the most expensive uh, guaranteed for life window tinting out there I only got the back part done and it was done at Eclipse which is uh, a window tinting place down towards Cincinnati. Uh, they do a fantastic job. Highly recommend them if you're looking to get your windows tinted in the Southern Ohio area. Uh, but it did help. Uh, so we're able to have the little one ride back here without getting roasted. And when we talk about the room, there is so much room in this thing. I know there's junk everywhere, but uh, there is a ton of room in here. And I really like the seats. I like that there's a combo of leather and this uh, I don't know Alcantara whatever you want to call it material I have no idea how it will hold up for the long term because if you look at the front you can already see a little bit of wear here on the armrest uh, so I don't know how long it will hold up and these are the seats so these are my seats which you get used the most so you're noticing a little bit of wear but nothing that I'm too worried about 
I do like the floor mats. These are stock factory Subaru all-weather floor mats, and they're really nice. Steering wheel, I recently drove my wife's Ascent for a little bit. I could not imagine going back to regular electronic steering. Uh, the hydraulic steering in this is fantastic. It just gives you a, a way more connected feel to the car. Uh, it fights back at you when you're doing stupid stuff you shouldn't do, uh, which I don't usually do a whole lot, but it does tell you... Uh, when you're doing something you shouldn't it will kind of uh you know kind of push back at you uh clutch is excellent uh transmission is excellent uh the gears are really close together so if you drive on the interstate i would recommend looking at a different vehicle if you drive a lot on the interstate just because the rpms are so high when you're driving this thing on the interstate they'll hover around the 3000 mark which is pretty high for uh your standard six-speed transmission. So I kind of wish it was a little bit more on the WRXs or a little bit longer, but I understand why it's like this. It doesn't bother me, but it may bother uh, some people out there. Uh, tons of room in here. Guess some of the plastics feel a little cheap with the doors. Uh, it doesn't have the soft touch material like the, the newer uh, Subarus do. The stereo does leave a little bit to be desired. And this is mainly because I drove my wife's Ascent and she has a Hartman Cardinal in it, and this you can get with it, but you have to really step up uh, and pay some extra money for it. And it does rattle when you play certain music with a lot of bass. You can tell that it's starting to rattle only when you do that and turn the stereo up some, which I don't do a whole that often. Uh, gauges are nice. Uh, the actual entertainment's nice. You got physical buttons for everything, which I like. Um, I do wish this was eight inches, but the seven inches is fine with me. I don't have any problems with that. Uh, so that's it. A uh, ton. It's very comfortable to drive. Uh, the, steer, the seat does sit a little high. So a lot of people have complained about that. It does not bother me, but uh, the seat does sit a little high. So definitely take that into account. Uh, definitely test drive it and see if it's something you like. Currently it's at the lowest position and it's, it is a little high. I will, will mention that. Uh, but tons of room, tons of back seat room, uh, tons of leg room. We have had some passengers in this recently with our car seat, and they didn't complain at all. They said the radio was kind of uh, faint in the back. They couldn't really hear a whole lot. But other than that, uh, they said it was very comfortable. It does ride a little bit better with these tires on there, mainly because they're a little bit uh, beefier sidewall. These are 40 series tires, where 35 is the stock ones. And trunk, tons of trunk space. So I've not used this much. I do need to get a different car or uh, stroller because our jogging stroller does not fit in here. So I will start using it more as it gets warmer. This is the first warm day we've had in a while. And one thing that I really didn't think that I would like that much to do is this, the way this thing sounds. It is amazing on just the rumble and the, the noises that it makes because it has the unequal length header, so you have a little bit of uniqueness to it. Gas, I'll get the gas mileage here in a second, but I've went over this before, uh, but this is a pretty large car seat. It is the Nuna Rava, and it fits perfectly. Uh, I don't have any problems. Uh, as you can see here, there's tons of room. It's currently back as far as it will uh, go. My wife is pretty tall. She is about 5'10", and this is her current uh, sitting position, so she doesn't say she has any issues. She does wish this went back a little bit further, so take that into account, but we do not drive this more than a couple hours at one time. It's not our uh, long commute. That's why we have the Subaru Ascent for that. Uh, so this seat almost has never been used, so it still looks new, as you can see. The seats are very comfortable. They're kind of stiff. Uh, at least that's what she says. Uh, my wife says that they're a little stiff for her, but uh, that's only when we drove about two and a half hours to her parents' house. Uh, but we didn't have any problems there. Uh, the brake calipers do get very, very dirty. Uh, if you can't tell, they do get really dirty as these were just clean, but you can see that I'm going to have to get some type of wheel cleaner or something that's going to be able to, to help with that. Uh, motor, I have changed the oil in this twice. I actually did at 500 miles, and then I had Subaru do it at 3,000. 
uh, and it was 40 45 dollars for them to do it I just had them do it because it's under warranty I was in the area so I went ahead and had them do it so um, don't have any problems with that it does not burn oil or anything uh, but I don't beat on the car I don't plan on it uh, I do we'll probably get maybe a can and air filter or something down the line but uh, it feels fast even for only 310 horsepower which I know may actually seem like a lot but it's really not uh, nowadays with how everything is but uh, I have found that it is fast enough for me and this car's not made to go on a straight line it's made to go on back country roads loose surfaces that's what it was built for so in the snow it does excellent uh, if you're trying to race even a probably even one of the new v6 mustangs it will probably beat you so take that into account it's not the fastest from straight line but if you're on a backcountry road it will all handle just about anything i would say under eighty thousand dollars unless you start getting into some of the uh, other more uh, fancy maybe some of the audi all-wheel drive uh cars something like the i think the a4 i'm not positive i'm not uh, up with uh, cars nowadays but plenty of horsepower the motor actually looks nice too i like the red kind of uh, exhaust manifold uh, there which looks nice I'd hate to see what it costs to fix it stuff in here because I know the spark plugs are actually buried way underneath so that's probably something I'll have Subaru do but uh, they're buried way under there and the oil filter is too you have to take off this massive pan underneath not pan but there's a skid plate under here that you have to take off I don't know if you can see it but there is a skid plate under there that you actually have to take off which is kind of annoying but that's it uh took about a half an hour to change the oil on it i probably will do it myself more often plan on changing the oil every 3,000 miles and i'll pull, probably let them do one me do one uh i would say when i go put my other tires on i'll probably just have them change the oil while i'm there when i have my stock tires put back on uh let's see anything else oh one more thing about the interior so if you're going to get a car uh, any subaru make sure you have it has it has the actual uh compass home link i think uh, already pre-installed so basically you'll have your north south east and west and all your uh, garage doors are underneath there so you can actually set them for your garage doors which you wouldn't think would be a big deal but it is uh it's a massive uh plus at least in my book i would definitely make sure you could option it on even if you want uh heated seats nice all cars have heated seats i think nowadays but uh the only negative i could say about that is i kind of wish it had uh like a like three instead of a high low like a high medium and low but it's worked out pretty good and that's it oh gas mileage i'm still getting around 19 to 20 miles per gallon uh that is uh all country roads no no highway i almost never go on the highway with this thing so it's all back country roads still getting that 19 to 20 I've noticed that if I take it on the interstate, I can get about 23 to 26 out of it, depending on how you know how fast you're driving. If you drive 70, it tends to like that speed limit a little bit better, but the more you go up, the more you get into the boost, and you uh, don't get those good as gas mileage. So that's really it. Uh, the update, I would don't plan on modding this car at all. I will get some new tires and rims at some point. Uh, I really already started looking. Uh, at some 18 inch rims just because I want to save a little bit of weight the stock rims on these cars are pretty heavy I believe they're like 28 pounds and you can get some 18 inch or even 19 inch rims uh, for you know 20 21 22 pounds so you could save 40 pounds just on rims that's something I'll look into and I like the beefier sidewall rides a little bit better that's it windows tinted uh they said they didn't tint the front but I swear it, it seems like they did Seems like they put a little tent on there because I really just wanted the back and they were like, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I only wanted the back because I did not actually want the windows tinted. I just wanted to uh, make it more easy for my 10-month-old uh, in the back. And you can have a family and drive this car. If this was our only car, I probably would have uh, looked at just the WRX if, I, if we didn't have a three-row uh, hauler mainly because it is not the most practical vehicle when it comes to driving on the interstate at least in my eyes i hate driving this thing on the interstate it's just no fun uh, but i didn't buy it for that we have a ton of backcountry roads so that is what we're going to do with it uh, that's it if you have any comments questions leave them below i probably won't get another review of this car up until maybe six thousand miles or ten thousand um or if i do get new tires and rims i may do it then i don't know
So that's it, guys. Comments, questions, leave them below. I have a ton of videos on this car. Some some people like, some people hate, uh, but just kind of giving you a, a general consumer's review of an STI. Have a good rest of the weekend. Enjoy the weather. Uh, this is the first day we're getting close to 60 and warm here in Ohio, so uh, enjoy the weather out there. Uh, thanks again for watching, and see you guys next time.